Good afternoon. I'm Tom Tripoli and welcome to episode one on the progress regarding the renovation of West Bay Vision 2020. As you may recall, it wasn't that long ago that the project was approved. Well, after a tremendous amount of work through a lot of different committees and a lot of experts, we have now gotten to the point where we are ready to get going. To help guide us in the process of how we're going to take each sequential step through this process, we're very, very fortunate to have Scott DeHoogie. Scott DeHoogie is our owner's representative and our project manager on this project. Scott, welcome. Thanks, Tom. I look forward to uh, taking you through some of the first steps of the project. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the pool area. Scott's going to go ahead and remind you of the vision of the poolside fitness, poolside dining. And then we're going to go out into the event lawn area, and Scott's going to talk to you about what you'll be expecting to see in the next couple of weeks. I'm now poolside here just behind the bay house between the pool and the bay house itself. Here joining with me, in addition to Scott DeHoogie, we have Chris Myers. Chris Myers is the principal and owner of Myers & Associates. The, representing the architect firm as well as the design firm that will be taking us through this process. Chris, if you take a moment and remind everybody of the grand vision we have for this area. Hello, West Bay. Good to see you all again. Thanks, Tom. Back behind me over in this location, this will be our new poolside fitness center, including cardio space, uh, area for great workout, trainers, also some new restrooms for the uh, poolside amenity. Adjacent to that will be our new hot tub grotto uh, with a large boulder foundation uh, having a water feature with a great backdrop of landscaping. Uh, we're going to maintain everything you see here as the pool, as much shade and uh, seating capacity as you're, you've become used to. And then over on the other side of the pool, we're planning our new poolside dining space. We'll have ample seating, indoor-outdoor feel. Uh, seating and uh, food and beverage opportunity all over that side of the uh, pool. Uh, in addition to the dining space, we'll also be a poolside bar and shaded covered canopies. Over on the, the northern area of that new building, we have a spray pad water feature. So all of these elements will really enhance the aquatic experience here at West Bay. As you can see, I'm now here with Scott DeHoogie on the event lawn. We are just south of the pool area, and as you can see, the familiar fountain that graces this area. Scott, why don't you go ahead and walk through and let the residents know what they'll be able to see in the next few weeks. Well, Tom, after, uh, after months of a great collaborative effort uh, with the professional consultants, uh, design committees, uh, community committees, we're finally going to let the contractors mobilize and, uh, and make some ducks, so to speak. Um, so where we're standing here will be one of our mobilization areas, and we're going to to do so, we're going to create an access point from the from West Bay Boulevard, and uh, and, and bring a road in here. So we've got staging areas for for materials, for uh, truck deliveries, and uh, um, and the contractors to set up their day-to-day -day functions. Uh, along with that, what you'll start to see um, behind me and, and a, on the pool deck is, is we will we will begin flagging, identifying um, trees for relocation preservation of some of the landscaping that can be utilized throughout the community. Uh, we will transplant some trees and, uh, and bring them back to the site when they're ready to come back after construction is complete. Along with that, as the mobilization takes place over the next couple of weeks, we're going to start um, staging off areas with some construction fencing, some, um, some fencing that will, uh, that will guide you through uh, the pool and the other areas that will remain open for the community to use. Uh, You'll, you'll see that go up. We're, we'll do our best to have some signage, and the contractor will have signage on that. We would just ask the community to allow that to take shape and to be respectful of the, of the guidance that those fences allow so that you can remain safe and secure in, in continued use of the amenities um, on the pool deck and surrounding areas while the dust takes place and we, uh, and we make the modifications and improvements to those areas. Fantastic. Scott brings up a very important topic, and that's the topic of safety. And we're going to ask that all of you take that very close to heart. The safety of the contractors, the subcontractors, but also certainly the safety of you, our valuable residents, your guests, and your families are of paramount importance to us. So as Scott said, we will have it assigned as best as we can. 
and we ask in advance for your patience uh, that this process is what I refer to as pains for progress. So that's it for episode one. And I hope you can sense the excitement and enthusiasm that's actually percolating here at Westbank. We are ready to get started. Thank you very much. We look forward to welcoming you back to Westbank.